it's a good way to, it's it's like it's like meditation you know for me because I, I live alone so it's you know it's something that I can always pick up and do uh, it's something that I enjoy because then I give them away to other people and that's enjoyable to me that I can be helpful to somebody else I went to City Hall at a meeting mm -hmm. when I retired and I met Barbara and Gwen okay so they talked me they talked me into sewing because they was at the armory. Yeah. So I said, Okay, maybe I'll come and when I go there it was a it was a joy. Yeah. I love it. I love to do it. I love to sew. I it it, it make me happy. Mm -hmm. It give it make you younger. Yeah. Yes. I I love it and this is what I do. I like craft. So I you may see this, me doing fifty million things. And this one looks this is in progress. This is yeah, I'm I'm quilting it now. And this is, is Tell this me about is, this one. Oh, this is embroidery, yes. Okay. Did you do all of this too? It yes. Like, okay. When I was working on the job through time, you know how you sit and do nothing? Yeah. It's a pattern, and a young lady gave me these because she saw me crochet and knit and all like that. Okay. And she was sending me embroidery, so she gave me uh, the blank and I put it together. So you just embroidered all these little white mm -hmm. squares, mm -hmm. and then you put it all together inside of a big piece? Yeah, and then I said, if you want to do it, I put it in a quilt. So mm -hmm. this is a quilt. Okay. We make quilts for kids and for veterans, and we give them away a couple of times a week, um, a year. We take them to uh, nursing homes and uh, the veterans hospital, and we also give to, what's the name of that children's place? Blacksdale Children's. Yeah. When I retire, I didn't know what I'm gonna do, and I didn't want to stay home bored, so. Um, my my mother was sewing in Jamaica, but she had this little machine, this little foot machine, and I used to use it, but she didn't let us use it. So I, when she went to the market, I just go on it and steal and <laughs> sew. So, and I wanted to sew all my life, but I didn't. Yeah. Look in Sears, remember Sears, yeah, yeah, yeah. the wish book? Mm -hmm. Pick out a pattern, and my grandmother would make that dress with them. So people would come to her. And, and she would make this for me. And I remember we used to get flowers in the, in the uh, cotton bags. My grandmother, you be seeing us wearing it, yeah. sitting on the kitchen table or on the window. They would take those flower bags and make clothes and stuff out yeah, of it. Yeah, absolutely. That's what we all do. You, yeah, you, we you take we what all, you can right. and figure something out. So did yeah. you learn from her? You learned from your mom? Or? No, I didn't because I came back up here when I was like seven or eight years old. I remember going back and forth with my grandmother. Yeah. But when I learned, when I came to school up here, which used to be Washington Junior High, mm -hmm. in the sixth grade, the teacher gave me my first sewing lesson. I've been sewing ever since. From sixth grade, from so sister, Junior. My mother can't thread a needle. I have one aunt that picked up this trade. Mm -hmm. I was, it was a joy. Mm -hmm. I make something that everybody could see. My first work. Yeah, I see it hanging up in here. So, so you, mm -hmm. you did that yeah. you made that shirt. Yeah. Me? Yes. No, my of first one. And our passion for Mount Vernon and our experiences are the thread that really weaves our community together. It's a nice like therapy. We really get together, friends, and we call each other when we're out sick. So it's a good therapy when we retire and we need that companionship. Uh, I really love doing quilts of comfort. So I do quilts for people who are in the hospital, people who are sick, people who are not, people who have babies. <laughs> When I retired, um, people who came to my retirement, I was surprised at the amount of people who said, oh, you gave me a baby quilt, oh, you gave me a quilt, you gave me a I mean, You just don't realize what, uh, what you're making, you know, what kind, what you mean to other people. So it's a good way to involve yourself with people. The quilting circle being the place where you can have that broad conversation where you can share your hopes and your dreams, your frustrations, and just some girl talk, right? Just, just to have a good time is, is really, really important. But this is a wonderful group of women, and we really do. We laugh, we talk, we crack on each other, nobody gets upset. And, you know, we all talk about things. I know I talk about things where I'd say, I'm never going to tell anybody this story. <laughs> but once we get together, we feel so comfortable with each other, and it's not a problem. So I enjoy quilting. I'm glad I met this wonderful group of people.